Right now at 11, the family of Lisa Edwards is seeking answers in her death. Where did things go wrong and who should be held accountable? Today, community members held a vigil in her honor. We can't forget the, the hospital's role in it, and that's why I'm here today, is to bring up that the hospital, Fort Sanders, had, had a big role in this. Protesters say they plan to speak at the city council building on Tuesday. They want accountability from the Knoxville police, police department and the hospital staff. Edwards had been released from Fort Sanders Regional Medical earlier that day. The hospital said she wouldn't leave the property, so police arrested her for trespassing. Edwards died shortly after being in police custody. The 60 year old later lost consciousness in the back of a police cruiser on her way to jail. Her autopsy revealed that she died the next day of a stroke. Patients are first at Covenant Health. That's why we exist. And um, so I can assure you, whatever improvement needs to occur will occur. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sad. I'm sad for the family. I'm sad that they've had a, a loss in their family and they have, uh, they're in my thoughts and prayers for sure. The hospital did say that an, an investigation is ongoing into what happened. Knoxville police officers involved in that are also under an internal investigation.